Well, shooters and reloaders out there, 40 Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And it is one week before Christmas, and I thought I'd bring you another video on firearms trivia. But before we get into that, what you're looking at is an ash tray from a 1950s, 1960s home. Because back in those days, smoking was a very popular pastime, and you were cool when you smoked. And practically everyone but did. you won't see these today because smoking is de-emphasized as it is not good for our health. And those that choose to do it understand the risks. But they make great holders for holiday candles because look at that how festive now is that? our firearms trivia question for today is what is the skeeter load now you might think that's got something to do with skeet shooting but that's far from the actuality the skeeter load was named after skeeter skelton who was a famous gun writer back in the 1960s and 70s and 80s. After a very distinguished law enforcement career, Skeeter Skelton went into firearms writing and became very proficient at it. Had a very easygoing type of style and liked to tell stories re revolving around the firearms that he was talking about. So very entertaining reading. Plus he knew his guns well because he dedicated his life to shooting and the firearms pertaining to his shooting. Many firearms enthusiasts of those times really appreciated Skeeter Skelton's work. Now here is an old issue of Shooting Times magazine, June 1982, when Skeeter was the handgun editor for Shooting Times and he had a column that he did every month called Hip Shots and he also did articles every once in a while. Now, he had a series called The Adventures of Doby Grant and The Stories of Doby Grant. So uh, there really wasn't a Doby Grant, I believe, but uh, Skeeter used that as a vehicle to get his message out about handguns. So here's one of Skeeter's hip shots columns, and he does firearms reviews and talks about ammunition, reloading, shooting, all this kind of thing in his column. He's the handgun editor. And here's one of Skeeter's series with Dobie Grant, If I Could Only Have One Gun. And so Skeeter sits down there and talks with his friend Dobie Grant. And all about guns and shooting, of course. Well, it turns out that before the year 1955, the 44th Special was very popular cartridge among American shooters and law enforcement. It turned out that in Skeeter Skelton's law enforcement career he really appreciated carrying the Model 1950 Smith & Wesson in 44 Special Caliber. Really liked that for his law enforcement work. And a lot of uh, shooters were doing experiments with the 44 Special to maximize its performance. And there were shooters like Elmer Keith who were working hard to maximize the performance of the 44 Special and that led to the introduction of the 44 Magnum in 1955. And of course since the 44 Magnum could shoot all 44 Specials, the 44 Magnum became so popular that it took over the market for 44 caliber and the gun makers actually stopped making 44 Special handguns. Well Skeeter Skelton actually carried a 44 Magnum for a while, but quickly discovered that the ammunition was too robust for law enforcement work, and he yearned for his 1950 Smith & Wesson and 44 Special, which he had sold. Well, what happened was Skeeter Skelton popularized a loading of the 44 Special that was so distinctive that it carried his name as the Skeeter Load. So these are all examples of Skeeter Loads. Skeeter loads are 44 specials loaded with 7.5 grains of unique and any 240 to 250 grain cast lead bullet. 
On the left we have two bullets are the Lyman 429421 hard cast Keith bullets and the two on the right are Lee cast 429 240 grain semi wide cutters powder coated. But because the 7.5 grains of unique, these are Skeeter loads. And Skeeter Skeleton has been forever immortalized by the ammunition that we would call Skeeter loads. And the fact that we have 44 special handguns today is due largely in part to Skeeter Skeleton's work in keeping the 44 special from dying away. And it's simply too good a cartridge to have that happen to it because when we give it a try, especially with Skeeter loads or some loads like that, we find out how useful this is. We don't need the push and roar of the 44 Magnum to do practically 90% of our shooting with the 44 caliber. Now those of you who are born after 1980 might not know Skeeter Skeleton, and so this bit of firearms trivia might be very interesting to you. But for all of us others who were born before then, we know Skeeter Skelton very well in his writings and appreciated his work, Skeeter Loves. So once again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you out there. We'll see you on the next video and let's keep those gun barrels smoking.